Okay, here's lesson 32 of your spelling, noun endings. We also call them diminutives. Here are your 16 words. I'm going to go ahead and say them. I would like you to repeat after me at home. One, booklet. Two, tablet. Three, leaflet. Four, packet. Five, yearling. Six, diskette. Seven, luncheonette, eight, particle, nine, icicle, ten, sapling, eleven, banquet, twelve, cabinet, thirteen, bracelet, fourteen, cassette, fifteen, pamphlet, sixteen, statuette. For each of the spelling words, each of the spelling words ends with a noun forming suffix. Find the suffix for each word. Sort the spelling words by their endings to help you remember them. Examples have been given. So here for this first one, ending in let or et, spelled et, and also ending in ette, et, ending in ling, and ending in cle. These are called diminutives, as I said, and what they do is they actually express um, a smaller size of something. Down here it says the suffixes let, et, col, et, and ling are called diminutive suffixes. They come at the end because they usually express a diminished or smaller size. So a duck lean is smaller than a duck. Baby duck, duck lean, that sort of thing. There are a couple of things that we're going to do differently on these, but first, uh, probably the best thing to do is to write your three times each on the back. And if you want to pause this and come back to it, that might be a good way to go. Okay, so once you've um, done your three times each, I'd like you for each of these words to go through. You're going to do something that I like to call Tetris. You're going to go over these words. I'm going to zoom this up actually so we can see exactly what I'm doing here. You're going to make a little box around it. Every time there's a little word, you go in. Every time there's a big word, you go up. Like that. Okay? Same thing to every word. So here you see there's nothing that dips down beneath the line if you are writing it on a lined paper. We do this because sometimes the shape of the word helps you remember how to spell it. Um, let me try one that has, leaflet has something go, that dips down. So the shape of this word is going to be a little different than what we've seen. And so on. I'd like you to do that with all 16 words. Secondly, down here at the very, very, very bottom. You're going to do something called analogies. Once you choose your four words four that, you're, that you want to choose, remember you can use online or any other resources to get these words, to find these words. Um, I tried Googling this last night and I just Googled words that end in C-L-E, words that end in L-I-N-G. And you just want to make sure that that makes sense, that they're a smaller version of that initial word, that uh, first root word or first base word. So after you find these four words, you're going to put them in something called analogies. Analogies compare two things. They compare um, one thing is to this as this is to this. You've done these many times. Um, we're going to use this as we're going to use this as practice for analogies with our spelling words. So again, you're going to do these analogies. So you're going to do four of them, and you're going to do one for each word here. I'm just going to give you an example. You can write my example down if you'd like. You don't have to. I just want to see your four analogies. But I'm going to do something with um, 
sapling. So sapling is a baby tree. So, oh, I already misspelled it. Sapling is two tree. And I'm going to say that uh, baby is to human. App, baby is to adult. So baby is to an adult as a sapling is to a tree. Okay, and that's an example of an analogy. I would like you to try this. I know you might not feel totally comfortable with it yet. Um, we haven't done a whole lot with analogies, but just try your best. Again, I want you to choose the word here I want you to put in one of them is, um, is a spelling word that you choose. If you feel like you're not totally comfortable with these four words that you learn, I'm okay with you taking it out of one of these these uh, that we that we um, we are talking about this week in spelling. There's one more thing I'd like to show you, just as a resource. Here are some sentences to help you understand some of the words if you need. I'm just going to read a couple of them here. Number seven says, at the luncheonette, Wendy ordered juice and a sandwich. So the luncheonette is sort of like a little, a little, I start with that, a little uh, cafe. Okay, here's another one. Um, number 14, the cassette was lost when it fell out of the case. I've talked about cassettes with you guys and how they're kind of old school CDs. This is what we had before we had CDs. We had a clunky rectangular shape um, that we stuck in a machine and you had to press play, like a little button that you pressed down. And that's what a cassette is, this boxy little thing that you stick into a, a boxy machine and you play music and other sounds from it. Uh, let's see, I'll go ahead and also say number three is leaflet at the meeting they gave me a leaflet that explains the contest rules so that would be like a little packet of information and that's it good luck